you know, I think we want people to come away asking what, wh you know, what they can be courageous about in their own life, you know, what they want to take a stand for, and whether they are, um, what personal risk they're taking or should they be taking. And, and what it means to be a person of courage, period. What it means to be a person who makes those choices. And hopefully through our father's story, people will begin to see that um, that everybody's capable of making those choices. And that not only are they capable, that they have sort of a, a moral obligation to take a stance in their own lives in the ways that they see, you know, would be useful in their community. Um, in the film, uh, the film is is kind of um, framed by the story of 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 David um, of David and Goliath from Michelangelo's Statue of David, and that was one of the few things that we knew in the beginning we wanted to incorporate in the film. The film was very much a journey of discovery. We didn't really know where we were going to end up, but we knew that story was central to it. Um, our father followed a lot of mythologies in his life, and then ended up sort of becoming his own mythology. Um, ultimately, but that was that story. He told he told it to us time and time again. He had this huge, you know, two and a half foot tall plaster replication <laughs> on his desk that I like. I've been trying to find. I think I think it it met its end. Um, <laughs> but uh, it was you know it was a central part of, of, of our childhood. And and you know and it was it was also fascinating to us because since the story was from our perspective as teenagers, that was a story that he had heard when he was a teenager. So it was it was the beginning of his awakening. Um, so it was it was particularly valuable for us to go back and explore that. And the choice to use animation, there there would have been you know we could have zoomed into a, a photograph of it or the sculpture itself, but we really wanted to make it come alive and we wanted to show that you were entering into this child's perspective into this sort of mythological world. And animation helped us do that. Plus, I also studied animation in school, so I love animation. <laughs> I think, uh, I don't know, it's, it's interesting thinking about that in retrospect because we get to make up any purpose now that, that we want. Um, but I think primarily our purpose to start out with was that we felt that we wanted to archive these stories, that a lot of the people that are, had been a part of our father's li life were also passing away. And you know we didn't have him anymore to, to put on film and we felt this whole history was kind of slipping away and that we wanted to meet some of these people and document it. So it kind of started out as a personal journey for us.